These are the goals I want to achieve in 2025 as a developer. Number one is to scale my current SaaS product to minimum 300K a year, which is roughly $25,000 a month of recurring revenue with a really large stretch goal of hitting a million dollars a year of revenue, which is $83,000 a month of recurring revenue. Crazy. Currently, I'm building a tool called Monty. It is a suite of productivity tools to help people automate their nine to five. It's currently hovering at around the $1,500 to $1,600 a month of recurring revenue. So it's going to be a big journey to hit that minimum of 30K a month. Fingers crossed that we can get there, I think, that we can do it. The second goal that I want to work on this year is to really solidify my safety as a developer in 2025. AI has been absolutely crazy in 2024. And for the first time, I'm actually worried that developers are going to lose their jobs to AI. How I plan to combat that is number one, just being more involved in the AI space, keeping up with what's going on there, primarily by being more on tech Twitter, just to see what's happening there. Because I do think that's where the latest AI news comes out first. And then secondly is also, I want to expand my role away from being a pure developer and just being more of jack of all trades and master of none, being better at marketing as well, being better at designing as well, rather than being a pure developer. Personally, I think that the future of work either going to be a bigger domain expert than AI, or number two, you're going to be so generalist that you can kind of do a lot of different roles at once and help orchestrate a team to reach a common goal. And I definitely don't think I have what it takes to become a domain expert. So I'd much rather be that kind of jack of all trades, master of none, and trying to be more multidisciplinary with my various skill sets. Goal number three is I would love to launch a second SaaS product by the end of the year, but I want to do that not at the expense of reaching my first goal of reaching roughly $300,000 a year of recurring revenue with my current product. So that's kind of on the back burner, but something that would be fun if we could do by the end of the year. Goal number four is to not learn any new languages or frameworks. I don't want to get tempted by the hype cycles of languages and frameworks. I know that I can build whatever I want with my current tool set. And I just want to remember that and not get tempted by the different hype cycles of the developer world. And last but not least, I would love to self host my apps on my own VPS rather than paying Vercel or paying Superbase to manage everything. I would love to manage everything on my own. That'd be kind of nice. Save a lot of money in the business. So fingers crossed if I can get that as well. But anyways, those are my five goals as a developer for 2025. Let me know what you think.